Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today is an excellent day. I just literally 12 hours ago, I have published on Amazon and I published my new latest book, guys. Yes. We finally made it. So six months ago, let's, let's go do some backstory here. Six months ago, I decided to go solo and, and write a new book on the ArcGIS technology, especially with building web applications on top of the ArcGIS platform, ArcGIS Online, and ArcGIS JavaScript API, the 4.9 version. And that is just being live on Amazon as if I think an hour ago. So go guys, check it out. So let, let me start with just uh, thanking you guys for all the support that uh, you gave me to actually build this new book, right? I, I have built many books before, but this book is different because this is my first book that I self-published. I wrote it my own, by my own. I took my own time. I used my own voice on this book and I believe from my knowledge, the 15, 16 years of GIS programming, I condensed all of this into this new book for you guys. And I think you get to be really, really enjoying this book. And especially I designed it to be for absolutely programming. You have, you should, you don't really need to know any a programming you have do not have to have any programming or knowledge or GIS knowledge or anything you can just pick up this book and you don't need any special licenses you will sign up for free for ArcGIS Online 21 uh, free uh, light uh, to uh, trial and then you can start just getting started and just like any other uh, other of my books we start by example I'm gonna teach you how to build an application from scratch, from HTML, no, not a single line of code that I copy and paste. Every single line of code you write, you under, you should understand. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. The source code for every single section is there and available for you to look at. All right. So, and uh, I designed the book so whether you have Windows or Mac or Linux you should be able to start uh, working with that book right now guys uh thank you so much and please go ahead and check out this book uh give me your honest uh rating on amazon i really appreciate it if you go ahead in there and and uh took take a look at that book All right it's a uh, i made it exclusive for kindle uh, as an ebook for now and uh yeah, you get, so if you have like a even Kindle uh, subscription, you can get it for free, right? So uh, it's I think it's reasonably priced for the amount of work I put there. And uh, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think. I'll make another, uh, I'll, I'll put in another video there, like sections showing you what you will have at the end of the book. I'll show you an example of how the book will, uh, what you will be able to build with this book, right? So you'll learn how to query, how to add a feature service, how to build that, how to, how to do uh, spatial operations, and so much, much more stuff. Everything customized from scratch, right? All right, guys, I'm going to see you. I'll see you next. All right, guys, this is so exciting. So this is my new book, Learn ArcGIS Programming with ArcGIS for JavaScript. It's a very long title, but uh, that's how Amazon works. Essentially, you're going to learn web GIS programming with this book. I'm going to show you now a breakdown of this book and what you will be able to do with, uh, with this book by the end of this book. So we can start like with chapter one. Chapter one will be just learning the basic. What do you exactly need? right and you're gonna need to build a, a, a simple web server we're gonna explain what a web server is and we're gonna show you how to build a little mini app web application not, not related to GIS just to get your feet wet and to build this web server essentially to do something like this right so you're gonna listen to a port 
right? And then you're going to write your own REST API, the first API, that will return something from the server, and then you're going to consume it. So this is what we're going to write. By the end of chapter one, you'll learn how to build something like that, all right? And this is very critical. And uh, although it looks simple, but the back end, the code that you have to write, is very critical for this and we're gonna learn all about it and this is chapter one chapter two will be setting up the ArcGIS online account I, there are, there are no coding in chapter two it will be very simple just go and set it up and we're gonna build a web map we're gonna upload the basic sample code that we'll be providing in the book right which is like a set of landmarks okay that I have built manually just like a fictitious data and then once we upload that, we build a service, essentially, where we then, in Chapter 3, where we consume that service. So, jump to Chapter 3, we will be able to do something like that. What we will be able to do is build our uh, application, uh, load the service that you publish, in this case, this is like, uh, and build symbology and do all this cool stuff. And just like that, you're going to be able to build a map, right, you can, as you can see, and then we're going to view this map from the mobile phone as well, making sure that this actually works in the mobile phone. Up until this, this is very simple stuff, just building the application, writing the exact code to pull that uh, web map and then view it and all of this up until now there is no custom coding going on so after chapter 3 everything will be just simple to the point right and you can just go and just use the application up to chapter 3 that will teach you how to build this application from scratch chapter 4 where things get really slightly exciting where we start building the search capability right so what we need to do is like we're going to introduce the how to read the service that from the back end and populate another drop down list and then populate these types and then like okay show me everything you have right or show me only bars or show me only hospitals okay and then we're going to learn how to do these kind of simple queries we're going to do what is a query we're going to return this result display it on the map do all these cool stuff guys all right and then but by, by this chapter four you'll learn that this is actually a hard-coded list so we actually said then sit there and typed bar cafe hospital library and restaurant and then we just like uh learned how to basically query and filter the map according to the result right chapter five is where things get more and more exciting right we'll do more and more coding and another thing we did here is actually search you can you can do some searching here so we can type something you click and we zoom to that result as you can see so if i can zoom to that I, uh, for example this is a student uh, this is a cafe Right, you can type anything you want and just like zoom to that. All right, so that's another thing we built in chapter uh, four. Okay, so, uh, cool stuff, guys. So building search capabilities, good. Just diving deep into search, how to build all that stuff. Again, guys, you don't have to know anything about programming. I teach you everything from scratch, from the basic building block. Everything you're going to write here, you're going to understand. You, you'll you never copy and paste any code. You're going to write everything yourself. I'm going to provide the source code for uh, with every single chapter. You can take a look at the code, right, just to check your work. But I promise you, I always give you the example uh, make sure that uh, I explain every single thing you write. There is nothing that says, hey, just copy that and just work. work. I, I, I don't work like that. So, chapter 5. Chapter 5 is very exciting, actually, guys. So, you'll be able to first, I don't know if you remember, but if you click here, the previous chapter, you have this basic pop-up that out of the box you get just the details of this uh, uh, feature you clicked. But here, we will do something really exciting. We're going to override everything on this thing. Okay, We're going to build our own pop-up that will allow us to answer interesting questions. For example, hey, I am near a school. Show me all the bars next to this school. There are none. So let's show, if I am this school. Show me all the bars within 1,000 feet. Okay, Because uh, I shouldn't have any, there shouldn't be like any bars or 
uh, liquor stores next to to a school so you can answer interesting questions like that so as you can see we will be able to do that we'll learn how to build a polygon a buffer polygon we will learn how to do a buffer we'll learn about the geometry service we'll learn about graphics polygon graphics point graphics line graphic and text graphics we're gonna build everything chapter 5 is very rich all right and we're gonna build the final thing is this search will be filtered based on whatever is in the current extent so this is like how basically google map works right it doesn't if you're like in, in san diego and you search something it doesn't show you things in, in utah right it shows you things that are in san diego so this is like a spatial search as well so let's do something else let's do for example in this cafe show me all the libraries okay and oh there's one library there okay oh actually there are multiple ones and you're gonna do all that stuff so by the end of this book you're gonna learn to do all of this guys and you can build more and more cool applications ping me guys if you have any questions i'm available here to help all right thank you again for checking out this new book that i just published in 2018 all right guys learn gis programming with arcgis javascript api and arcgis online you don't need to uh, to purchase any licenses you can just register arcgis online for free for 21 days and just check it out or if you are part of an organization just use that arcgis online and just build cool stuff you can start right now if you're a gis analyst dba you want to dive into programming if you know a little bit of programming this will this book will really help you and you'll be supporting me at the same time all right this is the first time i publish a book by myself right this is a self-published book all right uh all the books i have authored before i offered them with a, a publisher as you can see these are all my books but this is the first book i write that m my own so guys if you really enjoy this book uh please uh go into amazon and and give it a rating it will really mean a lot to me thank you very much i love you see you in the next one goodbye